what about being being um, a, a coach such as you are with you know uh, testing at your fingertips when you need it? What about your role and being a woman really astonishes, excites, challenges, disturbs you? Pick one. <laughs> yeah, you know so. I, you know, I, this is a labor of love, right? Like I, I, like you said, turn my mess into my message. But like when I discovered that I had the ability to be as healthy as I wanted to be, despite, you know, like being sick, like decades, really, I was, I was so miserable. Um, and now I'm, I, I tell people I'm the youngest I've ever been. And it's because that's how I feel, right? I absolutely have more vitality than I've ever had in my whole, in, in my whole memory anyway. Um, and so I'm just dying to shout it from the rooftop yeah. that like it, whatever you're going through, whether it's, you know, it's, it's cycle related and we have cramps and we have irritability and we have heavy flow and we have irregularity or we have, you know, the headaches or the, the skin breakouts or, you know, whatever it is, regardless of sort of what your triggers are, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't yeah. have to be that way. Right. And so, but the thing is people in a lot of cases don't really know what are all these silver bullets, right? Yeah. There's lots of them when it comes to yeah. food and sleep and exercise and stress reduction. But all of those things, we're not, we don't really focus on that in our society, right? So we're not trained how to sleep properly, right? We as adults, we don't, we don't know all the tips and tricks to really getting good sleep. <laughs> Same thing with exercise, right? So yeah. like we need exercise every day, but how much and at what right. intensity? And that's very specific to your unique biochemistry right now. Yeah. right? There is no one size fits all for diet. There's no one size fits all for exercise. And so just sort of knowing, you know, having a guide to be able to, to, to lead the way and to be able to help you identify and make the observations of the clues that your body's giving you, the feedback your body's giving you as to which, you know, how we get the best, the best sleep and how we get the exact right exercise for you. And, um, and what's the best way to go about detoxing, depending on your specific situation. If you, if we think that there's a toxic buildup, right. Um, you know, and so really that's, that's my mission is like, I just want people to know it doesn't have to be that way. And we're all here to help you. Yeah. Yeah. And I love what, what really resonates with me in this is that, you know, you were saying that you had just sort of given up like by 40, I'm going to be in a wheelchair. You know, yeah. And I think there, that's a really important point to bring forward because a lot of us really feel like we don't have any agency over our health and, or our health care. And I think that's, that's where a huge, huge problem crops up where we're just like, I feel terrible. I'm going to go to the doctor. They're going to give me a pill. Like it's going to make it better. right? Yeah. And so we've, we've stopped thinking about like, what can I do in order to not have to go to the doctor in order to not have to take medication? Like it's great that medication is there when we need it. And is there a way to be healthy without it? Absolutely. And that really has to do with reclaiming that agency over our own health, which we've been, we've been convinced that we don't know what we need. And the fact of the matter is because we're all different, every one of us deep down knows what we need. We just need someone like you to come along and say, let's figure out what it is you need and then do it. 